What's up guys? So you guys, probably if you watch my videos you've noticed I wear these hats here and as you can see it, it's a shark with a baseball and a bat. It's the local minor league team which is the uh, single A baseball team for the Philadelphia Phillies. And I'm not actually a Phillies fan myself but I am the fan of the Threshers, it's, a, it's the team I support, I tend to go to their games several times a year. And uh, so, but so since Phillies, it's kind of like a hometown for spring training here, uh, we have a lot of like their players around and so forth. And one of those persons was Darren Dalton, and who was a truly beloved character that played for the Phillies in the 1990s. And um, I was fortunate enough to meet him twice, and so I just want to kind of share these stories here. Just I mean, yeah, you know, for other, for the, his fans to check out and everything, and uh, you know, maybe family and friends as well. And so his his, his former players, that uh, his teammates, that is, and you know, just to kind of give an old oral testament, just like what a freaking cool guy he was, man. This is, I mean, it's just just ridiculous. It just uh, it just how I caught him in some weird moments. And he was just like the nicest guy ever. Uh, the first time I've, I've well, I, I've seen him around and stuff like that, but for, the, the, I've met him twice. And the first time ever, I remember it was, <laughs> it was, uh, it was, uh, God, probably a dozen years ago or something. And I was at the local, there's this in, in Tampa. And if anyone lives in the area, uh, it is this, this, the cash and carry used to be over there. It's on Swan, Swan Avenue. Whatever. All right. <laughs> Um, I was there early one morning. I think it was, I was training for bodybuilding uh, or something. Because I, I don't imagine that any other reason I would be up that early on a Saturday, but I was. And so, and I was at the the register. I guess when you make a return or something. So whatever I had to return, I was there. And there was a dude in front of me. You know, pretty big guy. Um, kind of looked a little disheveled. <laughs> he was clearly wearing the shirt he wore out the night before. Um, and <laughs> pretty wrinkled and everything, and he uh, he was he was asked you know to get up to the, the counter and everything, and he's like, oh excuse me, ma'am, um, I left my car here last night and it was towed. I mean that was kind of a known thing back then, obviously. And that uh, <laughs> there there's a bar called the Hideaway very close by, and maybe Chatterbox is still around then. No, no, Chatterbox is long gone actually. But <laughs> so people used to park there when they went. He went drinking and then, you know, and then obviously leave before the next morning or in his case, thankfully, he probably gave the keys to someone else because he was known as a hard party or saw him around a lot. And um, so he left his car there, got towed the next morning before the uh, grocery store opened up. So, and he was just like really polite and I'm like, oh my, but I was like, son of a bitch, man, that's, that's, I think it's Darren Dalton. So he kind of gets done talking, he turns around, I'm like, I go, Darren Dalton? He's like, yeah, how's it going, man? It's like, I'm like, you know, the guy just got his car towed, right? I figured he was going to be in a bad mood. I didn't want to really, I was just going to, you know, say, okay, hey, man, good luck with your car. And just, so be it. But he's, I'm like, I'm like, hey, what's going on? So he shook hands and started talking and everything. I'm like, hey, man, I just, you know, let you know when I was young and everything, I played catcher and, you, you know, you're one of my idols, man. So that's really cool to meet you. He's like, oh, man, that's great and stuff like that. We started talking and everything. He started asking me questions. Like, oh, you're from Philadelphia? I'm like, well, no, nothing like that. But, you know, so. It was just really cool that here's someone that, you know, you, you run into your childhood idols and, I don't know, they're still idols to you even at an adult age and to see someone to be that that cool and everything, especially, you know, it's him, it's like I had no idea what to expect. I knew he was kind of like a, you know, a party guy, happy-go-lucky and stuff like that in the field, but, you know, he's also, he's also, he's kind of, he looked very Hollywood, like he's a really handsome guy, you know, chiseled jaw and everything and he, I remember he, uh, his, his wife was, was local, um, from <laughs> for me here in Florida, and you know she was like the original Hooters girl model and everything. So like he was really so you know I was like you know you don't know how Hollywood he was and would be and everything and just but it was man he was totally cool. So I mean it was got to a point where it's like whoa man it's like he's doing more talking than I am. So you know and you know and there were that was that and like hey you know, so eventually it was like hey man hey good luck with your car man that sucks dude and you just and uh you know need a ride he's like oh no i got one in the car I'm like, all right cool and and so be it now he left and uh you know so and then um i probably saw him i don't know god the last time 
So before he had brain, he was diagnosed with brain cancer at least. And another odd time, man. I was, this time I was out partying. And I was at Clearwater Beach. And, and, um, and I was at this place called the Beach Bar. And again, if you have any familiarity with the area or anything, maybe like vacation, the Beach Bar, I'm not sure it's around anymore. If it is, hopefully it's up to, it was total, total dive bar, man. I mean, we're talking a place. It's like every step in, 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 in the joint, it's, uh, you know, you stick it to the floor. They, they have some awful metal band playing all the time. Um, you know, if, if the jukebox is too loud as well, just, you know, it's just, it, just, it just smells of, it always has a tinge smell no matter when you go there. If you have to drive by there in the day, in the middle of the week, on the weekend, it always smells a little bit like vomit and urine combined, you know, <laughs> just bleh. So, whatever. Um, so, anyhow, I'm... That day I was drinking pretty heavily, and so I was sitting here. I was at the urinal. I was in, was in the bathroom. I think I was the only one in there. So I'm, I'm sitting here at the urinal. Do 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 do. And also a guy, a guy comes in stumbling. You know, and he's kind of not out of control or anything like that. Don't take it the wrong way, you know. But I mean, noticeably drunk, right? So I'm like, shit, man. And he gets, he stands, he's right next to me. You know, because there's only two urinals or something. And he stands right next to me, and I'm like, fuck, man, this guy's, he's like wobbly and shit. I'm like, so I, I look over, just kind of, you know, see him, like, oh, man, I hope it's some, not some drunk who wants to fight or something like that. So I look over, I'm like, oh, shit. It's, I'm like, thinking, I'm like, I'm, so same, I did the kind of same thing. I'm like, I'm like, hey, Darren Dalton. He's like, you know, we're both sitting here, taking a leap. He's like, he's like, hey, man. He like reaches over, and I'm like, I'm like, take my hand. We both like shaking hands, like midstream. You know, it's so like, what the fuck? So I kind of, you know, I knew he didn't remember me from that time and everything. So I kind of came the same thing. Hey, man, I just, you know, I just, yeah, you know, let you know. I, yeah, you know, I, I definitely, I love watching you play and stuff like that. As a catcher and stuff like that, you're definitely, you know, kind of someone I'd love to model my game after. And all that bullshit, you know, that you that you tell your hero when you have a chance, right? You know, so. But it was so, it was so, I kind of left there. I remember, I remember coming out, talking to my girlfriend, and I was like, I'm like, see that guy over there? She's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, he's, <laughs> I'm like, that's Darren Dalton. He played, he played catcher with the Phillies and stuff like that and stuff. And she was like, I'm like, we just shook hands in the middle of pissing. She's like, what? I'm like, I'm, don't ask. I know, don't ask. <laughs> it's just like, but anyways, listen, these are simple stories. They're like nothing, like like two small incidents in the world. But I tell you, man, I, you don't, it's, oh man, it, it was just cool, man. It's just like, you don't, he truly was, he, he, he's a regular guy. I remember like him and like John Crook and Lenny Dykstra were kind of like that, that crew and that team back then were just, you know, kind of all blue collar um, and everything. I remember, Di, um, I remember John Cruck and, and and Dalton. They were arguing one time. He was like, he's like, yeah, you're his, he's calling Cruck a hillbilly, and Cruck's calling him a redneck. He's from Arkansas, whatever. And so, it's just, so, but that was that was, you know, that persona that you saw on TV. That really, that team, even though they lost the World Series to Toronto, that that Phillies team is probably more legendary than that Toronto team will ever be, just because of the, the characters they had on the team, like Dalton. Um, so, but that was, the thing was, it wasn't a front, man. That was him. So that, that's cool, man. It wasn't just like a camera and stuff like that. You know, a lot of times you so often you see some, you know, some celebrity in some sense, whether it be actor or athlete or something like that. You know, they put on a front on, on TV and getting interviewed and stuff. Oh, I love my fans and stuff like that. But they're fucking pricks when you see them out in public. But this guy was cool as shit, man. I mean, you know, so, hey, I appreciate it. Darren, rest in peace. His family. You know, I know you guys, I'm sure you're going to miss a, you know, a guy like that, you know, but, um, you know, best of luck to you guys all. And, you know, the true Philly fans, hey, you know, I hope you guys had a chance to meet him as well. All right, guys. Hey, I'll talk to you later. Dose.